it can be confusing sometimes. So in today's video, we will teach you guys how to use BTS in Bangkok. Come on, let's go. Like a circle that floats around me. Keep many, many times that we're using BTS and there's you know, some tourists that like come out of the direction because they got confused. So we got an idea that maybe today's video we're going to do the how to use BTS so some of you that don't know understand it better and don't get confused when using it. We try to make it short as possible. So once you're in Bangkok, you know your way around. You won't get lost and maximize your time here in Bangkok in today's video. You're like a circle that floats around me Keeping me safe and sound At the BTS station, the operating time starts from 6 a.m. to midnight For the frequency, it can be from 7 minutes up to 20 minutes up to the peak and off-peak period And it's always best to avoid the rush hour around 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and again around 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Especially in the big station like Siam station Keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you tie the rope to For the one-day pass ticket, the price is 150 baht You can get a one-day pass ticket at any BTS counter This type of ticket can't be refunded And it's valid for unlimited rides and on the date of registration only Which means that you can use it only till midnight The price of single journey card depends on the chosen destination and the price can start from 17 baht to 62 baht and the easiest way for the tourists to get a ticket is to find the ticket machines that you can easily find it before the BTS barrier some might only take coins, some can take the banknote or even if you don't have the coin, you can go exchange it at the BTS counter The rabbit card is the rechargeable smart card and to get a rabbit card, you can purchase it at any BTS counter the card itself costs 100 baht and you need your passport for the register and to top up the money, the minimum is 100 baht and the maximum is 4000 baht and your rabbit card is valid for 7 years from the day that it was issued so if you plan to come visit Bangkok more than once you can just keep the card and use the same one in the next time the card itself cannot be used on the MRT subway or airport plane and to have this card, it will save you a lot of time since you don't have to queue up for the ticket machine First off, let's start with the BTS Skytrain route map I'm gonna explain to you a little bit here As you can see, the green line here, the light green line is the Sukhumvit line And Sukhumvit line begins with the Keha station And it go all the way up here And it's gonna stop at center here, Sayam station You can change it to the another line here And it also go up all the way here at the ending station which is Kuko station and here, some of you might not know, but the letter and the number mean it end going north all the way up. Start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and all the way to 24 since this line have 24 stations. And same here, E1, E2, E3 all the way to E23 is, the, is telling that it's going east. And that Selom line, it starts with W1, which is west side, it's the national stadium and it also stops at Siam station, so you can change the line here and it's go all the way south to the Bangwa station, which is their ending station here And sometimes like some people getting confused, like okay, for example, if you're at Chitlam station, how do you get to Param 9, which is the MRT? So the easiest way is to look for this sign, the MRT sign So example, you at Shitlom, you have to go all the way to Asok station So you can change to MRT and go to your destination here As you can see, the station that you can change to MRT have Hayek Lat Prao station Have Ma Shit station And Asok station Also at Silom line, you can change it at Saladang station also, if you want to go to airport, you should come to Paya Thai Station at a Sukhumvit line because it takes you all the way here to the airport. You can check out the airport link video that we have before so you can see more information about airport link. And here's another tip. If you want to take a trip on the Ja Paya River, you can just come to Sapan Paksin and then go to the Sa Thong Pier. From there, you can take a Ja Paya trip here and see how beautiful Bangkok is. And as you can see here at, Ch at Chong Nun Sea Station, you can take a local bus called BRT bus 
all the way to Talat Blu. This is the way that you can also enjoy the local area. And if you want to know more about the BRT bus, comment down below and we will make more video about it for you. And if you're new here, welcome to Friends from Thailand channel. This channel is all about giving you tips and recommendations from your local Thai friends like us. My name is Amy. My name is Chon. All right, we've been walking around this station to do this video for you, right? This channel is supposed to give you tips and recommendations coming to Thailand. Be sure to check out other videos as well. Let's get back to the video. And once that you pass the barrier and you confuse which way you should go, just try looking for the ending station of the line that you are going to. So then you will know which way you have to go. And if you have a big luggage or a baby troller, you can always find an elevator that's gonna bring you up to the platform. And once you get into the BTS, just try look above the door. They're gonna have a board that telling you which station are you on right now and which station are they going next. In each station, they have so many exits. So once you get off the train, just try looking for the direction map and check which exit is the closest to your destination so you don't have to spend too much time walking. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys will be able to use the BTS in Bangkok without getting confused anymore. Or if you're still getting confused and have more questions, don't forget to leave your question below in the comment section. We've been walking in and out from BTS station <laughs> to do this video for you guys, right? At least, right, show your appreciation by like this video. If you like it, I will do more video about MRT with link to the BTS. And we also have the video to access you in and out from airport. That is the airport link. That should be all for today's video. Bye bye for now. Sadiqab. You can be losers, send me free.